Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're gonna be checking out CJ's Space Eco Plus canister filter. And if you're wondering why we're talking about a canister filter on a reefing channel, they can be pretty useful for us reefers too, but I'll touch on that in just a bit. Canister filters don't get a lot of love on the saltwater side of the hobby, but they can be fantastic tools for a number of scenarios, like adding extra filtration capacity to an all-in-one system, acting as a temporary external media reactor for chemical media, and also for periodic water polishing. CJ's Space Echo Plus canisters are a great option for those looking for a media reactor type filter setup that already has a super reliable CJ pump built right into the lid with unobtrusive intake and output assemblies, easy priming, convenient features for making maintenance and media swaps at breeze. And speaking of media, it also comes with media to get you started. So let's get this one out of the box and get a closer look. In the box, you'll find the canister filter with media trays preloaded with media, the installation sets and parts, some smoke gray tubing, as well as clear rigid tubing, as well as the instructions and the quality control card. The Space Eco Plus comes in three sizes, the 100, 200, and 300, rated for aquariums between 30 and 80 gallons when used as the primary filter, and they push 145, 185, and 240 gallons per hour respectively. Keep in mind, the tank size ratings are really based on freshwater aquariums, and us reefers are gonna find those flow ratings don't quite match what we would expect, but we're not likely to use these as our primary filters, and instead we'll be using them a bit differently, but but I'll talk about that shortly. All three models come ready to go with media, including a 10 PPI and a 20 PPI foam pad, as well as bio media. And with the largest model, you'll also get a fine filtration pad, as well as some carbon. All of the media is separated into locking media baskets that pull out easily with a handle on the top. The round shape of the media baskets are consistent, which makes it possible to use off-brand cut to fit mechanical media, as well as just about any brand of biological and chemical media, which is really convenient. Since most of us reefers are going to be using a canister filter like this one as a temporary media reactor for things like carbon, purigen, purit, cuprosorb, and similar chemical medias, or as a maintenance tool for periodic water polishing before or dinner parties or after extensive maintenance and water changes to help clear up that tank without bogging up our filter rollers or filter socks prematurely. I'll also give you my preferred media setup for this canister if I'm gonna be using it for water polishing. But before that, let's look at why this is a good option for that specific job. One big reason is that these canister filters are really user friendly. The intake and output are clearly marked so you can't get them mixed up. And they have an easy priming rod and a check valve built in that makes setting them up a breeze. They also have a quick disconnect gang valve for detaching the tubing from the canister when it comes time to do maintenance. The internal locking media baskets I mentioned earlier are a treat to work with when it comes time to swap out or rinse the media. The motor and the impeller are also built into the lid, meaning you won't have a pump or power cord in the tank. Plus, it runs very quietly and will be completely inaudible in your average aquarium stand. And on top of that, the Space Eco Plus comes with an extension for the output nozzle for running the filter on aquariums with a lower water level, or if you just prefer to have the output well below the water surface. So I'm sure at least a few of you are wondering if this is a good filtration option as a primary filter for something like a nano reef tank instead of using something like a hang on refugium or power filter. The answer is yes. If you prefer your aquarium to be closer to the wall and don't wanna leave clearance for a hang on filter, then you certainly can use a canister filter, but keep in mind that the flow ratings of canister filters are fairly low compared to what we would want for our reef tanks. And that is because the flow rating of the canister is tailored to contact time with the the bio media specifically. So you'll wanna make up some of that lack of flow from your filter with extra circulation pumps in your tank. And to prevent the canister from bogging up quickly with debris, you'll wanna set up the media with a coarse foam pad on the bottom and the rest of the trays topped up with bio media of your choice. This way you can stick to monthly maintenance rather than having to go into it weekly or bi-weekly to clean it up and make sure it's running at full capacity. I personally did use a canister filter just like this one for a 20 gallon SPS dominated reef using exactly that filtration setup. And it did a good job for the two years that 
what the tank was running. Now, like I was saying earlier, I think most reefers are gonna find these a great tool for doing periodic maintenance, like water polishing before guests come over or after heavy maintenance that stirs up a lot of crud. The media setup I like to use for water polishing, starting with the bottom basket and working our way up, I like to use a 10 PPI pad and then a 20 PPI pad, then a fine filter pad like felt or floss or batting and top that off with a high quality bag of carbon, run it for the entire day or overnight, but not longer than 48 hours. And you'll pull out all of those tiny bits of dust and specks floating around while also removing yellowing pigments from the water for a crystal clear tank. If the CJ Space Eco Plus matches your reefing mantra and you'd like to have one in your arsenal, you can pick one up by clicking right here. That's the spot.